Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Haley. if you're new here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Um, so this is my first video filming on my brand new camera. I got the Canon Rebel T5i. So hopefully the quality is so much better in this video. You guys can let me know down below. Hopefully it is because cameras are expensive so I kind of had to make a little investment, you know. And I'm in college so I'm broke of course. So now I'm really broke, right? But yeah, so this is my first video on my brand new camera. Hopefully everything turns out really well. So today we're going to be doing my January favorites. And I have some really good things for you guys. Mostly drugstore. I have like one thing that's high end. So everything's pretty affordable. Yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. And let's just go ahead and get into the favorites. So the first thing I want to talk about is, of course, foundation. And um, if you saw my first impressions, then you know that um, I really enjoyed this foundation. And this is the Maybelline Dream Cushion. And so, if you guys don't know, I have really dry skin. Um, actually, right now, um, you probably can't see. But my nose is actually, like, flaking. Like, it's gross because I'm so dry. Um, but I really enjoy cushion foundations. I tried the uh, L'Oreal. They made one. What was it called? Um, I have it somewhere down there. But, um... <laughs> It was, it came out like in the summertime and I tried it and it was very similar to this, but I actually think I like this one more because I feel like this one gives really good coverage. And, um, if you see my videos, then I know I've said before, like, I like, you know, I like decent coverage because as I point out, you know, sometimes I do have like a birthmark on this, on my face and it's red, you know, and sometimes that can be hard to cover up, especially if you're using uh, a foundation that you know doesn't have a lot of coverage to it so I'm definitely someone that looks for a, you know a higher coverage but I mean I don't mind if it doesn't but that's just what um, I like so this definitely does that for me and then also it has the luminosity that I like because I do have dry skin and of course if you know if you have dry skin matte foundations are the worst because they literally emphasize like everything on your face which sucks because um, I don't know if you guys watch Casey Holmes, but she's like one of my favorite YouTubers. But she's oily, so like most of the foundations she likes, like I know that I'm probably not going to like because I'm so dry, like flaky, and she's so oily. But also, um, she talked about another foundation I'm going to talk about later, um, and she actually liked it. So, and it worked for me too, so that's great. But back to this one before I get off topic. Um, the only problem I have with it is, so this is porcelain. This is number one, you guys. And like, I'm really fair as you can tell, and like I showed you a second ago, um, you know, when I showed this in my first impressions, I was like, there's no way this is going to match me, but it actually does. So if you're fairer than me, there's not a selection for you, like, <laughs> that's just one thing I think the drugstore really lacks is um, having, you know, a good shade range. I believe there's only like five or six colors of this, so they definitely should come out with new colors, but if they do have your color... Um, I definitely suggest you pick this up, especially if you have dry skin, because I think you're really going to love it, and it looks really beautiful on the skin. So the next foundation I'll talk about, um, like I always mentioned earlier about Casey Holmes, um, is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I actually don't have it with me right now. Um, I left it back in my apartment, um, which is like an hour and a half away from my house, but anyway, so I'll just have a picture of it up here if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but I, uh, I think... I use that in one of my videos too. I'm sure in one of my tutorials I've been using it because it is my January favorites for a reason. Um, I really like it. But anyways, back to what I was saying, um, I think it's for all skin types because Casey, you know, I said she is really oily and she said she really liked it and then I'm of course really dry and I really like it as well. So to me that's saying like, oh, this could work for a bunch of people. And they also have um, they have more shades online than they do at the Walgreens, at least my Walgreens didn't have that many shades, so I would definitely check the website if you can't find a shade that matches you in store, but again, it's really inexpensive, it's from the drugstore, it's like $4.99, $5.99, so definitely if you find that, um, you should pick it up. And then also from Wet n Wild, I've been really been loving their gel lip liners, and I know I've also used these in a couple of my tutorials, um, and I have the, well they're called gel lip liners, first of all. And I have the, <clears throat> what is it called? Plum Together. So of course it's just like a plummy wine shade. And then I have Bare to Comet, which is what I use more because I wear more of like a nude colors on a daily basis than, you know, I do like a wine. But I'll show y'all um, how creamy these are. And 
these are only like $2.99 so sorry I have another swatch on there I'll show you guys that later but just look how pigmented that is and like I bear like this is like barely with any pressure and I'll show you the other one too but these are so worth it um I mean who wants to spend a lot of money on a lip liner like I feel like that's just something that doesn't need to like be spent a lot of money on you know and these are good they had like six or seven of them but these are the two I picked up I'm definitely gonna go pick up more again like I said they're like $2.99 or something crazy so definitely go pick those up Honestly, you need to pick up a lot of stuff from <laughs> Wet n Wild right now. They're just like killing it at the drugstore. There's so much they've come out with, and I've literally liked every, sing every single thing I've tried. Um, the only thing I haven't loved is one of their mascaras, but I mean, everything else I've really enjoyed. So I definitely recommend going down to your local Walgreens and seeing what you can find right now. So, also staying in the lip liner category. Um, Another lip liners I've been using is the Essence Long Wearing Lip Liner. I'm not really sure if the claim on the long wearing is true because honestly I never wear a lip liner by itself so how can you really test that if you like don't wear it by itself you know. But I never like look at my lips during the day and be like oh my gosh my lip liner is gone you know what I mean. So the two colors I have are Girl Next Door which I showed my first impressions and uh, what does that say? A Girl's Dream. Hey, these are cute names. So the one I use most is obviously the nude one. I just like hit my face with that. <laughs> but um, these are like the Wet n Wild ones. They're not as creamy, I would say. Um, we'll see here. So they're definitely not as creamy, but obviously they're even cheaper than Wet n Wild. And, but the quality is still good. And like I said, who really wants to spend $30 on a lip liner? I mean, I just think that's kind of crazy unless you just like I just need to spend some money you know <laughs> so that was a girl's the girl next door and this is a girl's dream so it's actually really similar to the plum one just a little bit more pinky so if you find these at your local Ulta or you want to order them from Essence like I did I would totally totally do it especially if you're looking for some good lip liners and staying with the lip trend um, so my favorite lipstick to wear is liquid lipstick. I kind of gone away from regular lipsticks. Like that kind of sounds bad because I feel like I have so many I don't use anymore. But um, I've just really been loving liquid lipsticks, and I feel like you know that's the big trend right now, and has been for a while. So I'm always on the hunt to find really you know a cheaper alternative than spending twenty four dollars or twenty dollars on every liquid lipstick I buy. So I have found the Sephora Cream Matte Lip Stains, and uh, this is the shade 24. This is just like a wine berry shade. And I'll swatch that for you guys. But um, I find these are really thin in consistency but kind of moussey at the same time. So it's that top one right there. Um, <clears throat> but I really like them because they're not drying. And also they're really opaque. I find no patchiness in these. I have about four of them. And they're all like very consistent. And, I mean they're all really good. The only thing I will say about it is I think there's a packaging flaw. So this one does not have the problem. I should have bought the one that has the problem, but um, it's number like 40 that I have that has the problem. The cap is kind of coming off of it, like it's literally came off before, and it just has like whatever, um, like they glue like their thing on top of the actual cap. Sorry, I don't know if that makes sense, but so when you try to screw it on, it doesn't um, stay on because. The cap, like the glue in the cap is like separating or something. I don't know. Some type of packaging flaw. So that's like the one con I have about it. But they are $14. So again, the it's way cheaper than buying like an Anastasia liquid lipstick, which I really do love their formula. But I think these are just as good. And <clears throat> they have a huge uh, color selection. They just came out with like, I don't know how many shades just came out with. They even have some crazy colors if you're into like teal blues and grays and purples like they have all kinds of colors so I definitely recommend you guys check them out and then for my more affordable option which and these are just as good in my opinion are the Wet n Wild <clears throat> Mega Glass Liquid Cat Suit Lips Liquid Lipsticks and my favorite one is this Rebel Rose color and that's what this other swatch was on my hand and I'll just swatch it back for you guys but so these are even thinner in consistency than the uh, Sephora ones so I do find that some of the darker colors are kind of patchy but what's great about these is you can layer them they don't like 
get all the clumpy but I will say you can only go in with a couple layers because after that it does start you know looking kind of janky and you know you don't want that so um as long as you you know are careful with it they look fine again they last all day I have no problems with it and of course this is my go-to shade because I do go for those pinky nude shades I just find they look the best on my skin tone for like an everyday look but they have like I said, like 13 shades, so everyone should be able to find a shade for them. And they are $4.99, so that's what's great about it. $10 less than the Sephora ones, you know, way less than a higher, more higher end brand. I think, Like I said, I think they're just as good. Obviously, they're in my January favorites, so they must be good. So, yeah, I highly recommend you checking these out. And then, going back for eyes. Um, so, these are the NYX Faux White Eyeliners, and then I also have the NYX Faux Black Eyeliners. So, I should have brought the faux blacks because I'm just like all over the place. But, so this is the faux whites and there's like, I don't know how many shades, maybe like 10 in each collection. So the faux whites are like all the pastels, you know. Um, so this is like a pale pink and they have like a pastel purple and a pastel blue and a pastel green and you know, whatever else. I think they even have a yellow one. So, I mean, it's kind of cool if you're, especially if you do like, you know, cool, creative looks with them. Um, they're so creamy. I feel like you need them, and they're ten dollars. And then the faux blacks are like the black, the dark navy, the dark burgundy, the olive green. Um, you know, the darker end of the color spectrum. So, anyways, the reason why I like these is they're so creamy. Like here, let's see. Put it on the very bottom here. You guys can see that. It's almost the color of my skin tone because you know I'm I'm pretty fair. Um, but I love using this on my waterline. And you know how everyone was using, um, sorry I had like itch, <laughs> the white ones, like everyone was putting white in their waterline? Well instead of like doing like a stark white, um, you know this is more of like almost my skin tone, just a little lighter so it makes me look more awake but it's not like, oh my gosh, like she has white eyeliner in her waterline, you know what I mean? So if you're looking for like a, a good nude like ish skin tone colored eyeliner for your waterline I definitely would say go pick these up and they're so creamy so they don't tug and hurt your lash line because I know that um, I poke myself in the eye or pull my lashes with the liner all the time and these don't do that so next for eyes is the <clears throat> Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Glitter Liner and I don't want to shake it up because I want you guys to see um, I don't know if you can see how like this is all separated and I've had this for probably a year maybe even longer I got them when they first came out so I'm not sure how long that's been so obviously I need to get, need to get a new one or you're if you don't this is what happens but anyways for all that to say every time I do a glitter look like I always find myself reaching for this because it's just so easy like when they made these they just did it right I'm gonna shake it up so I can um, put it on my hand for you so it has this liner tip just like an eyeliner would you know has the brush and I'll just put on my hand so I can show you it's like a gold but it also has some silver in it um so it pretty much can go with any look that you're wanting to add glitter with it that's why I picked up this one but they have um about they probably have five or six shades maybe even more now and like I said I need to pick up a new one so I might grab some new ones when I pick that up but there it is right there in my hand so as you can tell it's really opaque um I only did a couple swipes and like look how much glitter that is so if you want to do like a glitter cut crease or you can even put this all over your lid um, you can do it in so fast um, or you can do it the old-fashioned way and get get your glitter glue and your glitter and dip the glitter glue and then put it in your glitter and put it on your eye but this is just so easy and so fast and especially if you want to do a cut crease like this is definitely the way to go the one thing I don't like about it sorry is that you have to wait for it to dry or maybe it's just because mine's getting old I don't know I feel like I have to wait like kind of forever and you just like have to like dry your eyes you know and make sure it doesn't transfer because I was doing a look with this the other day and I had to completely start all over because I completely forgot I just applied this to my eye and I like looked up or something and it got like it transferred so bad and like you know once it transfers you can't really get it off so I had to start all over so that's the only con but I really recommend these and I'm pretty sure NYX came out with some glitter liners. I haven't tried them so I'm not going to be like, oh you need to go buy those. And they're like a dupe because I don't know. But I am planning on trying those soon so I can definitely tell you guys to save you some money if those work out too. And if you tried that, let me know because 
I mean, I want to try them if they're way cheaper. Like I said, those are $24. So, moving on, back to the face. Um, I want to talk about this e.l.f. baked highlight. So, I tried this in my first impressions. Um, also, as I did most of these items, which I've fallen in love with. So, I feel like that video turned out, you know, pretty well. Because I ended up liking, like, everything in that video. But anyway, so, I tried this. And I know I said, like... Oh, you know, <clears throat> if you like more of a subtle highlight, then this is for you. It's not really intense. Well, it's what I have on right now. And how I got it to be like that is um, one of my friends in my sorority, she commented on that video and she told me, Hey girl, you know, like you're, if you um, scrape off the top of it, um, it like completely changes it and it's way more intense. So I did that. Um, there's like scrape marks in it. Um, and it completely changes it. So if you like an intense highlight and you're on a budget... I believe this is like two or three dollars. I got it from Target. Um, you need to go get it. And if you're really fair like me, I think it's just it will really flatter you because I know it's hard to find good highlights for us pale girls because we're so fair. But even if you had tan skin, I feel like this would be really pretty, like right on the tops of the cheeks to get that really booming highlight, you know. But anyway, so if you're on a budget, you need to go grab it. Just scrape the top off. It's more intense. If you like a more subtle highlight, just leave it. But yeah, this is definitely a must-have, and I'm so glad I picked this up. And then I have a bronzer, and I've been using this since I got it. And this is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for lighter skin. Of course, because, like, we know I'm, like, paler than a freaking piece of paper. So, um, I got number one natural, which I think they only have two shades of this. I'm not sure, because I just picked up this one, obviously. I didn't even bother with the darker one. Um... And I feel like this is a really good neutral shade, right? So, I know it kind of looks kind of warm, but, I mean, I don't think that I look orange or anything. And, obviously, that's not what you want. So, it's really hard for me to find a bronzer that doesn't make me look orange or muddy or, like, I spread dirt all over my face. So, this has really worked out for me. So, if you're fair like me or even paler, I feel like this is a really good bronzer for you. And it also smells, like, really good. I know I said in that video that... It smells like sunscreen, but I think it's just because I've never smelled like anything like this before. It smells like tropical, kind of kind of coconutty, but like not like I really don't know how to describe it to you. Um, I've never smelled the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, but like I would imagine that's what that smells like because everyone says, says, "Wow, I just got really tongue-tied." Everyone says that that smells really tropical and like beachy, and this is what this smells like. So. I don't know. <laughs> and if you have um, sensitive skin, I know like sometimes fragrances can be like kind of like, oh, I don't want to put that on my face, it might break out. But I haven't had any problems, and I'm I'm definitely one that can't put like a straight on like. So if something has fruit in it or something, it's gonna break me out. So I've had any problems with this. So I definitely recommend this if you have lighter skin. If you have darker skin, this probably will not work for you because it's not gonna show up on your skin. So. Next for um, my favorites, I want to talk about some eyelashes. And I guess I'll go ahead and talk about the ones that I have on right now. So I have on the Ilore Baroque Lashes. And for me, when I pick out a lash, I like more of a wispy but full. But like how they're like shorter and then they go longer. I just feel like it's the most flattering on my eye shape. Um, so that's what I tend to go for. So I saw these. Um, at Ulta, and they're, I mean, I think it's kind of crazy that they're $11.99, but y'all, I've worn these probably 20 times, maybe even more, and they're still going strong. Like, I can probably get another 10 wears out of them and be fine, and like I said, they're $11.99. So, for it to be able to be wearing that long, and I only paid $11.99 for it, like, that's pretty good. And they're from Ulta, and I have never seen them at Target, but they're at Ulta. So, I would definitely check these out if you want to. And it says mink effect lashes. So, they're not real mink, but they're supposed to look like that. And I definitely agree. I definitely think they look really full and, like, really, not, like, natural, but, like, as natural as a fake lash can look. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I've really been enjoying these. So, definitely go pick these up at Ulta. And then the other pair of lashes I've really been enjoying, which will come to no surprise because I think I've worn these in, like, my past two tutorials, three tutorials, and these are the Coco Lashes Goddess, <clears throat> or the Style Goddess, sorry, um, and I found these because I saw Amanda Insinger, I don't know how to say her last name very well, 
But um, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, she's here on YouTube and she has been wearing these. I'm not sure if she was wearing Goddess, but she wears the Cocoa Lashes. And I was like, hmm, I wonder how expensive those are because there's some lashes that most of these YouTubers wear that are like $30. And I'm like, I'm in college. I can't really afford to spend $30 on lashes right now. You know, like I'm sure there's some of the drugstore, which there definitely are. So anyways, back to my point. These are $6.99 and these are so good. Like I never thought I would like a lash like this because I'll see if you can see. Um, they kind of crisscross at the end so they're more structured lash than like these that are more wispy that I have on. And so I never typically typically would go for a lash like this. But I tried them and I've just loved them ever since. I think they're perfect for like smoky eye or any, you know, when you have lots of eyeshadow on. Uh, lots of eyeshadow. You have a more dramatic look on. I feel like these are perfect for it. So, and again, they're $6.99. They have lots of different ones. The only fun thing I find really weird about this is Cocoa Lashes, they don't actually have their own website, which kind of confused me at first because I didn't understand that. But... So they sell through LadyMoss.com, and I'll have it linked down below if you guys are ever interested in purchasing these lashes, um, because, I mean, I didn't know where to find them, and I finally found them on this website, and I think it's the only website you can buy them from, and it's in the U.S., so it's only like 4 or $5 shipping, um, but anyway, so they're really inexpensive, I think they're just as good quality as, you know, the higher up brands like Velour and stuff, like, they're definitely good quality. And the bands on both of these lashes, what I really like, I hate when a band is like so stiff, it's like uncomfortable to wear. And these are definitely very flexible and very, like, I don't feel them throughout the day. So definitely if you're starting out, I would say try the Bar uh, Baroque ones from Allure. And then if you want to step up and do a more dramatic lash, check out the Cocoa Lashes. And again, I'll have everything linked down below. So I also have some music favorites for you guys, but I'm definitely not going to sing for you because you don't want to hear my voice, I promise. And then I'm also a terrible lip singer, so we're just going to skip that for now. And I'll just link my Spotify and then some of my favorite songs down below for you guys. Um, because I promise you, you don't want to hear me <laughs> sing. So yeah, that's it for my favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is my first favorites video ever, and um, I really enjoy it. I love like, these are, I've only started doing some talking videos, but I really like it. And yeah, so I hope the quality was good, because like I said, I got a new camera. Um, and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you like these type of videos, then please let me know so I can keep doing them. And also, please let me know what your favorites were for the month, because I always love trying out new products. Especially if you have some favorite eyeshadows from a drugstore. I'm trying to put together to do like a full face using only drugstore, and the only thing I don't have is I... Do not have drugstore eyeshadows. I feel like that's one thing that's so important to me is eyeshadows, and it's really hard for me to find good ones from the drugstore. So if you guys have any recommendations, um, please leave them down below. Like I said, if you have favorites that you love and I you don't think I've ever tried out, then please let me know because I love trying new stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to enter my giveaway. It ends um, February 14th, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll just leave the link down below to that video and the link to my giveaway if you just want to enter. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please stay tuned for my next video because I'm about to do my Valentine's Day look, and if you haven't seen it, um, I post on my Instagram, so I'll leave that somewhere. And I'm just going to stop rambling because I feel like this video is really long. So yeah, I really hope you guys loved watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!